Oh, I've thought the red out. My wife thought the level of red overspray when I refurbished wheels in the kitchen was bad. It's nothing compared to the dust from doing that. Having said that, that's all the really worst bits of the bay sanded back. So just taking the worst off the lumpy welds along here, just tidied these edges up and uh, just done a bit of tidying up around these bits same over this side uh, this isn't quite coming out how I'd like not sure I'm gonna be able to do much about that without potentially ruining it so I think I'm just gonna do the best I can with the filler to make that look better uh, and I did some repair and some grinding down there as well so yeah I'm just gonna wipe that all down now and uh, and sort of tidy it up that way a bit. And yes, to answer the questions that will inevitably come of, you know, why aren't you doing a proper job? Why aren't you getting rid of, you know, bits that you don't need and all the rest of it? Um, it's a lot of effort and this is nowhere near a show car. So it's just a quick tidy up to make it better, but not show car standard. Okay, so giving that a wipe down now. So uh, that is now ready for uh, a hand sand and then filler. And then more sanding and more filler and probably more sanding maybe then some edge primer some primer some color coat some clear coat why am i doing this again okay so body filler is all now applied in the engine bay and i uh, gotta let that dry before sanding it back let me show you the mess i've made of putting filler on the engine bay there you go there is a filler everywhere so this whole section needed a load of work. A few little pinholes and stuff around there. A little bit along the firewall. A little bit down there. And then again, a load over on this section. And then the worst section is that bit there. So this is actually still drying. So uh, gonna give it a few minutes. Once it's done, I will start attacking that with some 80 grit. Okay, so I'm part way through sanding this back and uh, it's, it's looking better. So it's starting to, uh, to look how I want it to look. It's smoothing it out quite nicely. There's definitely gonna be a few areas where I'm not gonna get the finish that I wanted. And I uh, have to say, massive kudos to anybody that actually does a proper full shaved bay, because uh, man, this is a lot of work, but uh, and also, Tom, I understand now why the bay was only as smoothed and so forth as it was, because, uh, Jesus, yeah. So I think this is just going to be tidied up. I might do a couple of very light skims of filler in a couple of places, but uh, I'm certainly not going to be doing another full lot. Okay, so I've uh, cleaned up the engine bay, and I'm pretty sure I'm happy now to start looking at uh, putting some primer on it, and... Uh, Really good timing actually because my dust sheet and uh, really thick masking tape just turned up so it's going to make masking the car off easier. That's the bay, how it's looking. The click of my fingers. Huh. That click was meant to get the car painted. And uh, let's try it again. There we go. Got some primer on it now. It is weird how different it looks with a grey engine bay. The lighting in here sucks, so I didn't want to cut straight to the shot of the engine bay. I want to show you the colour on the front tube frame first, because that's in better light. There you go. Uh, nice close up. Sparkly, sparkly. So obviously that's only got colour on it at the moment. It hasn't had any clear. Um, I actually haven't got any clear yet because I kind of didn't think about that until I started painting. So uh, I need to get some ordered. I am though now a bit of a convert. I have never used before a compressor and a proper spray gun. I've always used rattle cans and just thought, oh yeah, it's easy, I'll, I'll just make do. Um, but I decided to buy some ready for use uh, paint for doing the colour with and um, use this little gravity fed blue spot paint gun and it was utterly brilliant I'm um, yeah 
really chuffed. So I might now buy um, from the same place some of their ready for use uh, lacquer, or just might buy the rattle cans again because they were quite nice to use before. But really tempted to try the uh, the lacquer through the gun now. But anyway, you guys want to see the engine bay, so here it is. And there you have it. It is painted in Mika red. Now it looks a bit darker in here than uh, I would have expected it to. Um, the lighting's not really good at this end of the garage. So it's the next day and I'm out of the garage again. Really happy with how this is looking, but I did realize last night that uh, I didn't actually paint the inside of the bonnet. And that obviously needs to be the same color as the engine bay. So that's the job for today. Noise. So inside of the bonnet painted and I'm happy for how that's come out. It's never going to look perfect because the fiberglass is just the, the raw fiberglass texture rather than a, a smooth finish. But I'm happy with it. It means when I open the bonnet it's not going to stand out glaringly obvious as being a different colour to the rest of the bay. At least that's what I hope. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit concerned about how the paint looks on the engine bay compared to everything else. I, I think it's lighting, but it just looks really dark on there compared to everywhere else. So I guess we'll see once I get it out in the sunshine. Okay, so I'm out here pottering on the car today, um, waiting on stuff to turn up. And uh, handily, my clear coat turned up. So I have just done the clear coat on the... Um, engine bay and on the bonnet and on the tube front so I'll just quickly show you that now that's how the bonnet's come out looks like I probably put the paint on a little bit thin in one area but uh, overall effect is good engine bay is looking really nice and glossy as well So it was never going to be a perfect finish because the prep wasn't perfect, uh, but I'm happy with it. Anything to do now, let it dry, and uh, then put it all back together. But that is going to be for another video. So as always, thank you for watching, and if you did enjoy the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it, and tune in next time to see the engine back in the car.